All right, today I'm going to help you if you're having any problem with percent error. So often scientists would like to know what the error is in their measurement. So they compare the results with other scientists or measurements taken in a lab. This calculation is called percent error. It tells the person who's doing the experiment how far off they are from the value that should be accepted. So to do this, we compare the experimental values to the book values or the accepted values. This is the formula we use. So percent error equals the experiment value, so the value you got um, from doing your experiment, minus the accepted value, which would be in a textbook or on the internet, all over the accepted value. And these are absolute value brackets, which means that your answer can't be negative, okay? So if you get a negative number on top, if the accepted value is bigger, then you just need to take the positive of that. And you're going to times this whole equation by 100 to get the percent of your error. All right, so my first example is you found the density of an object in the lab to be 5.67 grams per milliliter. And the actual accepted value is 5.14 grams per milliliter. So we want to find the percent error in your measurement. So what we're going to take is the experimental value, which is 5.67, and subtract the accepted value, which is 5.14 grams per milliliter. And we want all this in absolute value, but we're going to get a positive when we subtract these anyways, so that doesn't really matter. And we're going to divide it all by the accepted value, which is 5.14 grams again per milliliter. And to get the percentage, we're going to times it by 100. And the answer to this is a 10.3% error. So this is how far away this experiment was away from the accepted value, how inaccurate he was. So the next question is, scientists found the volume of a liquid to be 44.8 milliliters. That's his measured value. When in fact the true value is really 44.2 milliliters. What is his percent error? So again, we're going to put this in absolute value brackets. And his experimental value was 44.8 milliliters. And we're going to subtract his accepted value, the accepted value, which is 44.2 milliliters. And divide it out by the accepted value. Sorry, guys. All right. When you do the math there, you're going to get 1 times it by 100. And you're going to get... 1.36%. So this scientist was much more accurate with his measurements than the scientist right above him. So there's your examples for percent error. Good luck, guys.